What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House and our DCO commentary. Uh, bringing you this uh, video here to uh, talk about the uh, uh, patch coming out tomorrow. The uh, servers are going to be going down at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for both the U.S. and EU servers. So you guys are getting <laughs> EU guys are getting it at the same time as we are uh, for a change. Um, I'm glad to see. I'm hoping uh, that means that they've uh, fixed some of the issues uh, with uh, SCE over there for you also uh you guys are getting these updates um at the same time as uh the u.s is but uh a few of the changes are they're actually expecting the downtime to be uh about 10 hours so uh everybody go off uh you know if you haven't been already uh get your arkham arkham uh city uh time in uh, i know a lot of guys in my league have been playing it um and a lot of other people too in the game but talk about a few of the changes here uh They've uh, added uh, a new uh, radial menu um, to the game uh, instead of, uh, I'm guessing, instead of the uh, bar down at the bottom there where your loadout's usually at, it's going to be a radial menu around your uh, character that you'll have to use an analog stick to uh, um, switch to to uh, go to whichever um, section of the menu you want to go to. Uh, they've also um, added a new welcome message screen. Um, and uh, lots and lots of items added to the uh, marketplace. Uh, a few of the fixes they've done um, were, uh, you know, basically some crash issues and all that. Big ones, um, you know, crash issue with uh, using the broker, uh, um, chat issues, uh, fixing some of the crashes to the chat, uh, lots of other things. Um, They've uh, made a fix for the uh, acro uh, glide ability. Um, if you had an acro and you're using um, like glide or rocket assist glide to uh, get around the city and all that, sometimes you just drop completely out of that movement and start falling down. Um, they uh, say it should no longer uh, shut off unexpectedly when you're using that. Uh, nature uh, primal wolf form, the slam attack, is now going to be vulnerable to block as intended. Uh, should have been <laughs> something that was uh, intended. Uh, I know this is intended, but this should have been something that was fixed a long time ago. Um, not being able to block at all against uh, the wolf form is ridiculous. Uh, Stoke Flames is going to reset the uh, combo counter as intended now, too. Um, a couple other things they fixed uh, to the alerts. Uh, loot chest um, and ace chemicals is going to be breakable now. Thank you very much. That thing's been glitched for I don't know how long. Um, I honestly stopped running ace chemicals uh, a lot um a while back simply because you know i didn't need any more loot out of there uh, some uh, changes to the raids uh the uh fortress of solitude 2 raid the uh prime assassin boss fight um uh, from reading this here it looks like it's going to be uh more difficult um the uh upgrade the uh crystal formations that you have to take out uh the uh are now going to uh, fully charge the Prime Assassin if you don't destroy him in time. So it sounds like you're not going to be able to uh, keep one up. I don't know if this is basically more just a change in tactics for it because from the way it sounds, uh, the shards are going to charge up the Prime Assassin if you don't take him down soon enough. And if you don't take him down soon enough, then he's going to spawn in ads. Uh, before, you know, if you know you left at least one shard up, you know, no more ads would spawn in. Uh, so this sounds like to me that, you know, if you want to keep ads from spawning in, you have to take out the shards. I don't know. We'll have to see after the update um, and uh, run, it, I'll, uh, run it again and let you all know for sure. Um, they also fixed an issue where the instance could uh, become unplayable. Um, I'm not sure exactly what instance they're talking about, but if it's the... Uh, area where you have to split into two groups to go down uh, with uh, either uh, Superman and Zod or Lex Luthor down the other side and uh, Superman and Zod would uh, get glitched over on the wrong, onto the wrong side and you wouldn't be able to continue on. I hope it's that because it was just ridiculous. Uh, had uh, FOS 1 and FOS 2 uh, glitch on my league um, two nights in a row um trying to run those um superman not going getting this into the uh third boss fight on uh, fos1 and then uh superman zod glitching over to the other side in fos2 and just basically said screw it and we didn't even i didn't even bother trying to run those raids the rest of the week and just wait for reset uh 
they're still uh, fixing issues with the speed feet for Smallville. Um, apparently, uh, the feet would um, uh, update whenever you zoned into it. Um, I never noticed this. Uh, I actually just ran Smallville uh, the other day and um, didn't notice that happen. Uh, they also fixed an issue where, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, they also um, included the Owen Science Cell Star Labs Research Facility, Coast City, and Batcave Outer Caverns alerts um, are now going to count towards your uh, completions for alerts feats. Um, a few other things they've added uh, here. Uh, one of them I, don't, I didn't think was really necessary at all. The profanity filter uh, can now be toggled in the UI settings menu. I know the profanity filter on this game was, you know, kind of wonky. Uh, you know, it would, like, filter out, you know, like, unnecessary words like vacuum. <laughs> it would filter out vacuum uh, for some reason. Um, you know, in other words, you know, obvious words, you know, that needed the profanity filter you know it filtered those out too but uh you know seriously people have been finding ways around that already i don't even know why that was ne this is a necessary addition uh, see other issues they fixed uh, an issue where invites to custom chat channels would go through even if the inviting player was being ignored um that's fine too um you know i mean just you know some things you know uh, they add to this game uh, doesn't really make sense to me. You know, they've got all this new PVE content. You know, they're you know fixing you know, and they're not doing any fixes to PVP content except for you know Stoke Flames and uh, the Wolf Form, uh, where you can block. Uh, it's just it's it's kind of frustrating seeing all these changes to PVE and everybody talks about the problems with PVP and nothing gets done about it. Uh, you know, no feats for. Um, the uh, FOS Arena and 2v2 Batcave Arena. Uh, they're, you know, the staff block breaker, um, being able to clip that animation, you know, so fast that you don't even see it, you know, and you can't even stun the person when they're doing it. It's, you know, just ridiculous. And the damage on it's, you know, ridiculous too. Uh, you know, brawling, you know, now I got, you know, I know I may sound a little bit biased on this, and I kind of am because, you know, I love brawling, uh, I'll admit it. But, uh, the uh, tap uh, block breaker for us, it's the slowest block breaker in the game. It doesn't go through until, you know, I actually get a hit. But it's just, I don't know. Lots of other changes, too. Uh, lots of stuff added to the marketplace. Uh, legendary tab for the free-to-play guys, you know, getting ready for it. Um, I'll put a link for all these uh, changes here in the description before, um, below. There's also a lot of changes to Legends, too, in regards to Bane. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked this. Um, hope you guys liked the uh, loadout guides I did. Uh, until next time, though, I'll uh, try and uh, get some more videos out for you guys and get some news to you whenever I can. Y'all take care. Bye.